Grand Troops, and we're excited to be here at Campgrounds of America's uh, Campground of the Future. I have the opportunity to meet with the CEO, Toby. Toby O'Rourke. This is an exciting event. Oh, we've had so much fun at this show so far. It's just getting started. So we really enjoyed working on this Campground of the Future project. We've been working on it for a few months now, just trying to imagine where camping's going to go in the next few years. It's been a lot of fun. Some of the materials that you sent me, there were some pictures that almost looked like Disneyland and yeah. things like that. Is that kind of the concept that you see for camping? Well, our models are taking into account everything. Recreation, some more officers oh, camping, so. trying to appeal to all different ways of camping. We have the NRVs and the We are, what we're displaying here today is actually virtual reality for on uh, interactive websites. And you can go across five different models. We've got stuff for mountains, the coastal environments, urban, desert, and forest. And so there's lots of things to look at in each one of them. You know, none of these campgrounds exist on their own right now, but just different concepts to explore different things. So the KOA is individually owned as a branch of this, or how does that work? Well, yes, so we have 518 locations across the U.S. and Canada with the world's largest network of private campgrounds. And uh, the majority of our systems franchise properties, so they are independently owned and operated. We've got some owners actually walking around here as well, um, who were pivotal in helping us think through these ideas. And then at the corporate level, we own 31 of the parks ourselves. So we're a mix of both uh, franchise and business. So let you play around with things, and then do you have like an annual meeting or something for the owners to come to? Or? Yes, we, every November we have our big convention, and we're going to be in Savannah, Georgia this year. Fort Worth last year, where a lot of our owners come, and we're pushing out information from the home office, we're allowing them to share, which is a big part of the experience. Cape Grand in the future will definitely be on this display at this year's convention. Many people thinking out of the box and start building some of this stuff on their parks. So the campground of the future, each one of these uh, owners would have the opportunity to take some of those concepts and use it at their location? Yeah, for example, I was just out in uh, California and a new property that's coming in and I had some sneak peeks or these stuff and I showed the owner and he, oh my gosh, I know exactly where I could put that. I want to build that. So that's exciting. So an investment for a person to do a KOA is in the million dollar range. Making a, you know, right, new build campgrounds um, are very expensive. What's so exciting though for the private campground industry is that there's more campgrounds being built now than has been in the world's time. There's currently 13 contracts of new build construction at KOAs right now. I've noticed even in the investment market that there are companies that are providing opportunities for people to invest in campgrounds as an investment tool. We're, we're seeing the campground space changing dramatically. There's a lot of corporate players coming in because they're seeing the returns that they're getting on these investments. There's a lot of money flowing in from the investment side, as you're saying. People are building campgrounds. Owners are investing in their parks, improving their sites, adding sites. It's just a lot of money flowing into campgrounds right now. It's very cool. We're kind of down by the Salt Lake uh, KOA, okay. and as I look through their website and the things that they have an offering of uh, cabins and then they have the typical spaces for people that are coming and going and then some long-term people. Is that kind of a good mix of what a lot of yeah. owners try to do? I would say any given KOA has a mix of tents, cabins, and RVs. We've got a couple of new RV sites, back in RV sites, and then some long-term sites. Not every campground has long-term, but some service that we're doing. So as a company, you probably have some guys that are out traveling in the area, making sure they're living up to your standards and things like that. So Yes, we've got three quality assurance teams that are on the road uh, that you know, take different parts of the country, and annually we try to see the majority of our parks in the 600 points inspection process. That's making sure they're adhering to those KOA standards that we're in place so we can keep on top of the quality of the system. So the owner has some flexibility of doing some things, but they have to do it the KOA way, I guess. And sure. Also, but that's, the most unique thing about KOA is they're all different. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, sometimes you go to a hotel and it's rubber stamps, yeah. right? And they don't do that at KOA. The owner has so much flexibility to do things the way they want it. However, we do have some things that have some standards. For example, we have a concept called the KOA patio mm -hmm. that we're now putting on RV sites, tent sites, um, and cabins. And there's certain requirements for the KOA patio. Our parks are segmented into three different types, journey, holiday, and resort, and there's requirements within each of those brands. So there's some yeah. level of requirement, but overall there's a lot of flexibility, so people can be very creative.
appreciate you taking some time and talking to us about KOA and Thank you this for campground of the us. future. We really appreciate that. I, I know if anyone wants to, that, that's watching, wants to see the campground of the future, you go to campofthefuture.com and you can get to all of the landscapes. You can view them right on a computer or you can throw on a pair of Oculus goggles or Google card reader and view them. Well, we appreciate having a chance to talk to you and your new position. Thank You've been you. with the company for 17 years? Oh, no. No, no, no. Eight years. Eight years. Eight okay. years, yeah. Oh. So this is my eighth year. I started in March. I came in as uh, head of digital marketing. Okay. So I had a, a great time at KOA. Really enjoyed it. And then the person that retired had been there for how many years? Yes, Pat is retiring and he's been with the company for 38 years. So he, it's hard to, most people have not known a KOA with Pat, about Pat anymore. So, well, it looks it's like it's going to be in good hands. It's going to be a big change for us, but we're very happy for him. He's very excited for his next adventures, and um, we work together really well, so I'm excited to see, see where we can go. Thank you. I appreciate right. the time. Thank and you. Thanks for meeting us and talking to us. Take care. Great. Thank you.